Hey everyone, I'm out here in the garage and I thought what I'd talk about in today's video is hole cutting devices. So stay tuned. So if you're new to the channel, I just want to welcome you here and hopefully you'll consider subscribing if you like what you see. Also, check out DIY Apprentice on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. I post lots of pictures and videos on those platforms before I post anything on YouTube. And occasionally, I'll post things on those platforms I don't post on YouTube. Also, check out the website at DIYApprentice.com. So, I have a bunch of hole cutting devices here. And that's because on various parts of projects, I'll run into a situation where I need a certain hole cutting device versus another. So I'm going to walk through all these various hole cutting devices and talk about when I would use one over another and also some of the equipment you can use with each one of these hole cutting devices. So let's get into it. All right, so let's start off by talking about the most basic of devices and that's a drill or a drill bit. Standard drill bit, I think everyone has seen these. Most people have used these. Uh, this one obviously has the three sides on it and that's because they usually work with a drill like this where it has the three sides and the chuck there. So when you slide this in, get it on the three sides, clamp this down, and it's nice and firm in there. Of course you have your, your key right there to make sure everything is nice and secure. Now normally these are not used with any other tool other than a drill. You can also use it on a drill press. Then we go to something like this. This is another drill just like that one, but this one actually has a quarter inch shank on it. So this you can use with a tool like the impact driver that has a quarter inch drive. So you slide this in. This one has a quick connect and it's in there, ready to go. So on occasion I have used these with one of these kinds of drills in a pinch, but normally I would use it with an impact or a tool that has a quarter inch drive. Now the next type of device here is a spade bit. This is a really long one that I've used on the toilet project, I believe. Here's another one. These are both three quarter inch. This one is 13 sixteenths. Again, these are quarter inch drive. Now this one's sort of a quarter inch drive. It doesn't really fit very well. If you put it in here, it doesn't lock in place. Whereas these two will lock in. I use these spade bits when I'm making holes in walls for electrical work mostly. So you probably saw these recently in a video for the bathroom where I was cutting some holes in a stud so I could pass some screws through there and into the next stud. So if I need to make a quick hole in a wall stud, I will grab the spade bit and use these in a lot of cases. A lot of times when you're using these devices, it's going to depend on how much space you have. So for example, with this one, I could probably get this into a 16 inch on center stud cavity space, but something like this one won't fit. So we started out using just regular drill bits to make holes. Then we stepped up to a spade bit to make a little bit larger hole. And now we're gonna step up to even larger holes using hole saws. So hole saws, in most cases, you can see the depth there. Usually these are used to make holes in two by material. You can't go any deeper than what they'll allow. Now to use a hole saw, you need a mandrill. This one happens to be by Milwaukee. It's got a drill for establishing your center. That's some threads for screwing into the back of the hole saw. This one also has a couple studs because on the back of some of these hole saws, you can see there's some holes. So I can screw this in like that and then line the holes up and then slide this forward. That locks in place. So that's pretty cool. Now this you cannot obviously use with an impact that has a quarter inch drive because this is not quarter inch. This would have to be used with something like this tool. You could probably also use these with a drill press. I have never done that with a drill press, but I could see where that would work just fine. Also, you can use it with a tool like this. This is a right angle drill. I have used this on the toilet video once again. I use a lot of different hole cutting devices in the uh, toilet videos when I was installing the wall hung toilet, and this was one of them. So a lot of plumbers use these to make holes in walls when they want to run pipe. All right, so the next device we're going to look at is a self-feed speed bit. See, I've got three here. And these are very interesting looking. They've got a spike on them in the center for centering your hole. They have these really sharp teeth on them. And then there's also a cutaway so that as you're cutting through material, it'll spit it out. You're probably wondering why I would use this versus just using a hole saw. 
So I had a situation in the bathroom upstairs when I was putting in the wall hung toilet where I needed to go through sister studs. And obviously, a hole saw will only go through one stud. So I grabbed the selfie speed bit and was able to go through two studs. And a lot of times, these kinds of bits are used on a right angle drill. And that's when plumbers would use them in wall cavity. Goes in like that, and you're able to make your cut. So these are about 7 16 shank, and this is a half inch chuck. Uh, you probably could use these on a drill press. For example, if you're going through a wood post, then you might want to use something like this. So the last device we're going to look at is an attachment for my Dremel. So you can make circles. So this one goes from 4 inches up to 12 inches. So the only time I've really ever used this is for making holes in drywall or backerboard material in the bathroom. You probably could use this for cutting holes in plywood also. So this is kind of the progression that I've had over time. Started out with the drills, then the spade bits, then I moved on to hole saws when I needed to make larger holes, and then I moved over to one of these uh, speed bits when I needed to make holes for plumbing. And then also I've had this around for a while, and that's for making circle cuts that are larger. So hopefully this information was helpful, and thanks for watching. See links in the description below. Comment, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to check us out on social media. And thanks for watching.